Fallon Zoo's a hardworking cop who's about to wed Chloe, a diligent actress who's present on set even though it's the day of her wedding photo shoot. While on the phone, she helps him choose his suits and heads back to filming, which is a stunt scene where she expresses her concerns. However, without preparing her, a crew member hurriedly pushes her down. In the next scene, Fallon arrives at the bank to make a quick withdrawal. At the entrance, he bumps into some of his police friends at the escalator and invites them to his wedding. Next, he surprises another friend, Huang, sitting in a delivery truck. After some small talk, Fallon leaves. Huang then gets booked for parking illegally by a mischievous traffic warden, but he reveals his police ID, and the warden unhappily leaves. Inside, Fallon tries to get in line for a cash withdrawal, while three suspicious men show up behind him. Suddenly, the light goes off, and the men begin to disrupt the peace and demand that the receptionist fill their bags with cash. They ransack the place for a while, but before they can escape, Fallon simulates a scenario where he'll single-handedly defeat the armed bank robbers one after the other. However, his fantasy doesn't go well. As he tries to take a child's toy, she refuses and begins crying while calling him a thief. The attention of the robbers is drawn towards him and they all try to but Fallon manages to take cover. The robbers quickly make their escape by setting off a grenade inside the bank. Quang tries to intervene, but he isn't smart enough to notice another member of the gang sneak up on him. A shootout happens between the robbers and the other cops on the scene. However, the thieves quickly make their escape in Huang's vehicle. With Huang still inside, Fallon cuts his way through the streets and jumps on the roof of the van like a superhero, but with glasses. They try to shake him off and even shoot at him, but he dodges every bullet. He then distracts the driver and causes the van to crash into a wall and disorient him. He jumps into the van, making a dramatic entrance with a flying kick, and he begins fighting him in a cramped space alone. Another round of shooting happens, and a bullet accidentally hits the behind of the driver, causing him to speed away while Fallon continues to beat up the robbers. Wang also tries to assist, but he's overpowered, and ends up taking Fallon's heavy kick directly on his chest. How's this guy even a cop? The car starts to swerve as they try to evade the cops chasing him. The gunfight then turns into a knife fight, and the poor driver's the one on the receiving end yet again. Fallon sends the next three robbers falling, while the last guy with the knife prepares to avenge his friends like a real loyal bro. But he gets bullied by Fallon, and by this time, a news station catches up and begins to interview the criminal. During this time, the journalist receives a call from his boss who tells him to make the fight more exciting for more views on live stream. He then gives a hammer to the robber. Is this the world we're living in now? This gives the bad guy a little edge over Fallon, and the fight gets intense. But just then, another journalist arrives, also wanting an interview, and the two journalists start arguing with each other. An irritated robber breaks one of the cameras. This pisses the journalist off, and he decides to hand his mic to Fallon so he can exert revenge on him. Fallon finally defeats the last guy with the mic and quickly goes to stop the van. Unfortunately, he crashes into a police station and nearly collides with his boss. Instead of being praised as a hero, his boss starts blaming him for not handling the situation better. Unable to attend his own wedding photo shoot, Fallon also gets a ton of nagging from Chloe. It's revealed that they've been dating for over 10 years, and despite his heroics, in the police department, Fallon hasn't been promoted and doesn't even have enough money to fund their wedding. He tells Chloe to quit her acting job, but she takes offense to that and hits him severely. She accuses him of taking criminals more seriously than her, and she tries to guilt trap him with a quiz on her favorite things. But fortunately for him, he gets all the questions right. This only makes her more pissed off and she continues throwing tantrums until she falls and breaks her arm. The couple break up afterwards. The next day, Fallon can be seen transferred to another department. Everyone in his section enthusiastically bids him farewell with a salute as he heads out. Immediately after he leaves, they begin celebrating his departure, because he was always kind of strict with them. While cycling alone, he has an accident and ends up incapacitated in a wheelchair for months. He spends his days watching kung fu movies and eating junk food while Chloe starts receiving recognition and is nominated as the worst actress of the year. Months after they broke up, Fallon now works in the evidence room, where he does nothing but eat. 
He continues to put on weight and after a while he ends up obese, sad, and an extremely lonely man who celebrates his birthday alone. Weeks later, Wang offers him a job that entails escorting an injured witness out of Hong Kong in secret. He promises to help him get back to a good position on the force if he can handle the job for him. Fallon and the witness board a plane together, and here he encounters Chloe, who doesn't recognize this fat version of her ex. They begin to catch up, and he even offers to take her on a date. Unfortunately, she's with a ridiculously handsome man, and he informs her to go back to her seat. When they arrive in Japan, they meet up with the two guides and start heading towards the safe house. But during the ride, someone farts in the car, and they decide to stop at a relief station to have some unscented fresh air. Inside the toilet, the witness is attacked midway through his business, but he manages to escape and runs out half naked. Fallon sees this and starts chasing him. Unfortunately, he's unable to catch up due to his new form, and the witness escaping at the back of a truck. Later at night, Fallon, along with a friend called Thor, head into the city to find the escaped witness. They end up on the roof of his fiance's restaurant. At this time, the restaurant gets invaded by some gangsters and Thor goes to calm the situation. However, this doesn't work and they start beating him up severely on the road. But luckily, his fiance's nephew, Tiger, comes to the rescue with his bicycle. He stylishly beats up some of the thugs, but is soon overpowered and restrained. Fallon joins the fight out of nowhere and begins to destroy each opponent one after the other. As he's fighting, more gangsters arrive on scene and he's forced to escape their overwhelming numbers. He soon comes up with an idea where he climbs his way into a building, traps the thugs inside, sneaks out, and quickly locks them in from the outside. The police arrive on the scene but let the gangsters go scot-free instead of arresting them. Elsewhere, it's revealed that the same man Chloe was traveling with is actually the boss of the gangsters called Shimakura. He manages to get his hands on the witness thanks to the cooperation of the Japanese police division. Shimakura wanted to get a hold of the witness as he had knowledge and footage about the gangsters' dirty dealings and was afraid he would expose it to the cops. The gangsters then start hurting him and take him out. The next day, Fallon and the police find the witness by the river. The cops inform him that he had drowned, but he can clearly see that the guy was murdered. He becomes suspicious and begins looking for clues in the late man's house. Here, he notices a hidden phone inside a pillow filled with rice. At this time, a dog attacks Thor and bites his behind. Why is everyone getting hurt on their backside? Fallon then manages to get a hold of the dog and locks him in a closet. Later, Fallon tries to access the phone whose files are encrypted. The only clue they can find is coordinates to a fish market, where they head to the next day. The place turns out to be a trafficking site run by the gangsters after Thor accidentally consumes some raw fish laced with magic powder. Soon, Thor finds himself being chased but is quickly saved by Fallon who starts beating up the men by improvising with tools available in the warehouse. He hops on a forklift, driven by Thor, who's unintentionally high on the he found, but somehow everything works out, and they start taking out the bad guys one by one. But their luck runs out when Thor crashes that forklift into a formal event where Chloe is working alongside Shimakura. The mafia boss gets super mad at him for ruining the event, but thanks to Chloe, he lets the matter slide. Fallon begs her not to involve herself with Shimakura anymore. However, she doesn't hear him out and asks him to leave. A disappointed Fallon begins re-examining his life and all the trouble he's caused and keeps causing. However, he soon reminisces about the good times with Chloe and decides to find her to rekindle their relationship. My guy just got scolded by his ex and still doesn't give up. He then goes out on a date night with Chloe and they have a lot of fun in various places. They get drunk and start expressing many emotions, and in the end, she agrees they'll get back together if he quits being a cop. However, their celebratory moment is cut short by an earthquake that lasts for a few seconds. Chloe watches as he cares for the people's safety without giving a thought, and realizes she'll only be stealing his happiness if he stops being a cop. She decides to walk out on him again. Ah, ouch, bro. You just can't catch a break. The next day, she stumbles upon a scene where Shimakura had just grandfather in cold blood. The gangster then kidnaps her. 
In another scene, Tiger manages to hack the encrypted phone and delivers more evidence to Thor. Thor sees the video footage shot by the witness and tries to call Fallon to tell him about the good news, but his chef steals the phone, hoping to sell off the evidence for some cash. Carissa catches him in his tracks, but by this time, a ton of gangsters start chasing her. They corner her, but Thor appears and saves her with his terrible knife skills. He keeps the men at bay, mainly using himself as a meat shield, and eventually he's caught off guard and gets stabbed. Luckily, Fallon arrives on time to safeguard the evidence, and while Carissa stays by Thor's side, he heads outside to handle the next wave of thugs. He single-handedly fights the armed men, leading them to high ground, several balconies, the roof, and places that'll negate their numerical advantage. The Japanese police and the two guides from before arrive at the scene again, only to dismiss the gangsters as though nothing happened. Fallon confronts a guy and accuses him of working with the thugs, but he surprisingly agrees. He mocks Fallon for being fat and acting like Bruce Lee, and at this point, the other guy records his confessions and kicks him. He begins chasing her, but Tiger diverts his attention by throwing a concrete block at him. He chases Tiger, but is knocked by a bus. Fallon then gets a call from Shimakura, demanding the phone in exchange for Chloe's safety. He rushes to the location for the exchange and finds Chloe's face swollen with many bruises. This makes him mad, and he rushes at Shimakura without much thought. Shimakura catches him off guard with a gun, and Fallon falls to the ground. Chloe quickly goes to his side and begs him not to on her. She now realizes she actually loves him too much to let him The fact that she cares for this fat guy makes Shimakura extremely angry, and when they tease him for looking like a toothpick, he snaps. He tries to eliminate Fallon, but he manages to counter with an attack. He gets a gun and takes out Shimakura's men one by one. Shimakura tries to trap him with a shelf, but Chloe shields him. The couple face off against Shimakura for a while, and as the fighting gets intense, she continues to get in the way unintentionally. Both fighters turn out to be extremely skillful, but the fat guy's hit carries more weight and does more damage than that of the toothpick. Fallon ends the fight with a German suplex, followed by a kick in the chest. As soon as the battle ends, Huang arrives in a chopper to back him up. Unfortunately, this distraction allows Shimakura to recover and retrieve a new set of weapons. He chases Fallon outside the Tokyo Tower, and they begin battling to the death in the dangerous architecture. Chloe hands him some nunchucks, and Fallon soon manages to overpower Shimakura yet again. Just then, Huang's chopper obstructs the battle because, as it turns out, the pilot's an amateur who got her license the previous day. But this doesn't affect Fallon much, and he uses his vast knowledge of kung fu movies to end the battle with some killer moves and takes out the evil mafia boss. He and Chloe finally have their moment, and they promise to stick together for real this time, while they head back to Hong Kong dangling from a chopper. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this recap, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our new content.